Hi there, I'm Pam Carr from Caraway Crochet and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these simple scrunchies. They are adorable and I think you will love making them. They're so easy and quick. I use an H hook and a five millimeter and a yarn needle for weaving in the ends and I use this beautiful Bernat uh, velvet baby velvet um, and it just turned out gorgeous so join me as I make this beginner friendly scrunchy and I hope you enjoy the video please do subscribe and click the on the bell if you want to get notified of any new videos and always hit the like button if you like it thank you so much hi there so today I've got this beautiful color it's called hopping hydrangea it's a beautiful burnout baby velvet I've got my H hook and I've got a nice little um, rubber hair tie here. So I'm going to start out by making a slip knot, putting it onto my H hook, and I'm going to start, I'll stick it through here. And pull it through and just join it with a slip knot first of all that's how we're going to start out pull that tight okay so we're we're, hooked, we're attached there and now what we can do is um i've got my yarn the wrong way here i need my yarn that's it good job okay you need your yarn to be coming out the back okay so I'm going to stick my and we're going to do a single crochet go between the hook grab the yarn pull it up through and go through both loops that's a single crochet and we're going to go through this whole around this whole hairband hair tie like that put your hook through Grab the yarn on the other side, pull it under, yarn over, pull it through, single crochet. So we're going to single crochet all the way around here. This is something that can keep you busy. You're stuck at home. And my granddaughter is the right age for these, so I'm hoping that she's going to like it if I make, make some of these. So we single crochet all the way around not giving a number uh, you can just do as many as you as you feel like you want to have around your hair tie and uh, I made some of these with regular yarn but this is the first chance I've had to actually get down to making some out of the velvet that I bought. I bought a, be a beautiful green too. It's very uh, soft mint green. This uh, lavender, hydra this hydrangea, hopping hydrangea color, I've actually made a pair of shorts. I've designed a pair of shorts out of that. That should be coming up on my, on my, on my channel soon. I'm just figuring out what kind of trim I want to put around the bottom of the legs so that's kind of fun and then on with my green I have made a bralette one of the the bralettes out of the velvet so that's kind of fun too and I've that was completely done but I didn't videotape it I just was busy designing it writing up the pattern so eventually I'll get around to doing a video for that so much to do so many great things to make so I just keep going until you can't see the black anymore, okay? And then when you get to the end, you are going to go into the first stitch and pull through and slip stitch it together. So we're all together. Now we're gonna chain up one and we're going to start doing two half double crochets into each of the single crochets that we have done and that makes it bigger. If you want it to be a taller, I'm just getting some yarn out here. If you want to make it taller, then you can actually do two double crochets into each one. It's very similar to if you've ever made those um, those um, sort of flower bl loofah blossomy things. You just go into each of the stitches many, many times and it just kind of fl flares out and makes this great big ruffle. Okay, so hopefully we're gonna 
be able to do this with this yarn because sometimes it comes out really uneven. Anyway, so here we're going to start. We've chained up one and we're going to go into the first one and we're going to, going to do two half double crochets. So we put the yarn over, pull it through, pull through that loop and then you've got three loops and we pull yarn over and we pull it through all the three. So that's one into that first stitch. We're going to do another one into the first stitch. Yarn over, put the hook through the same stitch, grab the yarn from the back and pull it through. Now we've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull it through. And that's two half double crochets done into the first stitch. So we're going to do that into each of these stitches. One, two, and it should, if you will see it start to get puffy. One, Get like a scrunchy two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I thought I'd like to do something lighthearted and fun today to put up on my YouTube channel, and I thought, why not? I've got this velvet yarn. And people are really loving scrunchies, so I will share how I make them. Two. One. Two. There's lots of different ways to make them. I made them another way where you just do chains of three to create these loops, and then you crochet into those. So. Just depends how fat you want your scrunchie to be, how you want it to look. But this is a pretty simple version for beginner people to do or experienced people to do. And a nice quick project to make if you have uh, a market like I do, the farmer's market on Main Island in the summer, it starts in May. So if you wanted to create some scrunchies to sell, they're a nice quick popular product you can make for the markets. Maybe you can comment below if you know anybody that you, that wears scrunchies, that loves scrunchies. My daughter actually wears them, but she wears the fabric ones. She hasn't got her into this yet, so maybe I should take this upstairs and get her to try it out. And you know, it's quite forgiving if you don't, if you miss a stitch or you put three into one stitch or something, that's okay, it's it's forgiving like that. You can just, it's not one of these highly accurate patterns where if you make a mistake, it's gonna even show up. Two into there. The sun is out today, it's a beautiful day. I am supposed to be posting a, um, a blog post, but I, I thought, you know what, I feel like I want to go and do this. I'm going to stop. I didn't think you needed to watch me unraveling a knot, so I, had a, I just turned it off in there for a while. So we'll keep going around. Two. One. Two. One, two, and I might just let you finish right to the end. You don't need to watch me do all of these and I'll catch up with you at the end. And here we are at the end and I'm just going to do two into this final one. One, two, I might actually do another one because there's a gap that, there. And then I might do two into this little space here, just for the heck of it. The more the merrier, right? And then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of there. And there we've got a scrunchie. Cutting a long tail that we can weave in. And when you're weaving it in, you want to kind of make sure you're stretching it while you're weaving it in because 
this the nature of this country is people are going to be stretching it, right? So I will have to go and get a needle and I can weave that in. So here we are, I've got my needle and I'm going to take my needle and just weave it through the top here. There you go, and then just pull it out a little bit. Make sure it's going to be forgiving for the stretch. That's it. Such a pretty color. Okay. And then we have this one. And don't forget to like this video if you like it. Um, click subscribe if you want to um, get, and the little bell if you would like updates of when I post new videos. Recently, I just learned how to make my left-handed videos into right-handed videos, so I'm really excited. I get to, to share my, my videos with the right-handed crocheters out there, too, so this is very cool. And each video just becomes two videos to post. I just love trying out new things. I've got so much stuff that I haven't even shared yet. But that's okay. So here we go. There's a scrunchie. And I might make another one, another couple. And yeah, that's really exciting. Thank you for joining me. And I'm Pam Carr. And yes, yeah, subscribe to my channel and hope to see you again soon for another crochet tutorial.